Toxic Workplace Series. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you dig in my vibe. Keep in mind this can be something that has already happened, is happening, or has the potential to happen. And I say potential because you and others in your story can transmute the energy. All right, Sagittarius? So you just want to keep that in mind. All right, Sagittarius. So let's take a look at the overall theme for your storyline in particular. All right. Use discernment. Your intuition supersedes any reading that any tarot reader gives you. So keep that in mind. Overall energy or theme. Gifts. Okay. Nifty gifties. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could get more money with the deal as well. Okay, some of you guys are already doing um, this. This could be entrepreneurship. Um, but if you have a, uh, if you're um, at a nine to five job, for example, um, you may be discovering new gifts. Okay, and you're like, hmm, how can I utilize this for prosperity and abundance? Okay, so you're uncovering that, or you will be in the process of doing that. Okay, from the universe. Bottom of the deck, I like this. Long term. Got the rings there. An opportunity can turn into a long-term career move. Or you will be asked to commit to a position in exchange for more money. I can't help but to say for a lot of you, I'm getting nine to five turned into entrepreneurship. Okay? Um, always believe that the universe will provide you with any and everything that you need. So there's always going to be a buyer for your goods. Or there's always going to be a recipient um, willing to receive the information or new ideas that you have to turn it into something big. Okay? You have to believe that. All right? Um, or not. It is free will. But it's true. <laughs> to put it in, in that perspective. Okay? So, so some type of um, long-term career move. This is good. Utilizing your talents and your gifts. You have to be open and receptive to it. So it could be something that you're already talented in or you're discovering some new ones, okay? Or you're finding a way to combine all of them at once, okay? Which is really cool too. All right, so let's take a look at why your particular place is considered toxic. Why? Why is Saggy's workplace considered toxic? Whoop. Queen of Cups. <sighs> yeah, you're an empath. You are internalizing a lot of people's energy. A lot of shit's going on. Because at the bottom of the deck, I got five of swords. That's two people arguing. That could be bullying, manipulation for some of you. You know? And everybody's just, you know, don't want to be in it. Those are the, the, the children could be your colleagues, right? They don't want to be in it. they like, I know. You keep venting to me. But they're not going to do anything because they're used to it, right? Okay? So, um, Queen of Cups is that you are internalizing other people's energy. It's great to be a healer, but you have to know when to cut it off, Sagittarius. When to set energetic boundaries, when to ignore things, when to be about your business. Know when to be an advocate for someone. Know when to pull back your energy. All right? Because after that, I got two of swords. This talks about that. Right? Two of Swords talks about blocking. <laughs> Following your intuition and knowing, having discernment. Well, you know, just focusing on the prize, focusing on the present, and planning for the future. All right, Sagittarius. Nine of Cups, planning for the future. What you want, your wish fulfillment. All right? So I can keep going on with these, these types. But yes, a lot of arguing, fights, five of wands, talks about drama, conflict, okay, going back and forth. So that's what makes it, you internalize that. So you have to learn how to set energetic boundaries. For some, it's um, um, healing through, um, it could be um, saging for some of you, praying, meditation, yoga, just being grounded. You know, uh, walking around nature, 
every day, making that a, a habit to ground yourself so that you're not constantly um, being pulled by other people's issues and problems. It's, it's a beautiful gift being an empath and being able to um, channel things and being able to help others, but you have to know when to cut it off, okay, and preserve your energy, all right? Okay, let's see what else we got, Sagittarius. Um, how do your colleagues feel? Page of Wands. Eh, page of Wands. They always come into you. This, I feel like you're dealing with some very young people, very immature people, Sagittarius. You know, they're going to do what they want to do. That's maybe your attitude. You know, you could tell them one thing, they're going to do the opposite because they have to learn their own karmic lesson, right? Can't force anybody to do anything. You only give them advice. But with justice, this is how I feel you are uh, as a counselor to me. This is giving me counselor vibes. Trying to balance things, trying to be the peacemaker. That's that's kind of you, okay? And it's been like a burden, ten of wands, getting on your damn nerves for many of you, all right? So this is all about taking your power back, spending some time to yourself. Queen of Cups also is a nurturer, but you have to fill your cup up first before you can fill up others, Sagittarius. So a lot of this is created. I feel like the job that you're in um, right now was maybe to have you gain experience in certain things or aspects of the job or even utilizing your talents to a degree. But now your universe is trying to take you to the next level. Okay. And that may mean for a lot of you um, starting your own business. These gifts that the universe wants to give you, the only way you could get them um, or find out about them is how um, through relationships with other people at your job. They were likely the catalyst for you to discover, hmm, I'm able to now see, you know, what's going to happen next, or I'm, I'm actually clairaudient, or I'm clairvoyant, um, or... Um, just by touching someone or praying over them, I can actually be used to heal someone, you know. I've had that a lot at, at, um, at jobs where people would tell me their story, you know. I'm doing my job, they're working, and they just bust out in tears. You may have had that experience, right? It could be overwhelming, right? They don't even know you from a can of paint, but yet they feel comfortable telling you their story and and you giving them advice and and they you know it's that closeness right you being the light for them and you saving space for them that's a beautiful thing um but you i'm i may not have understood or knew that i had that capability had i not worked at that particular place right so i feel like this is where you're getting it's like you're getting it's a training ground for you where you're training at your current job um, so that uh, spirit can um, allow you to move on to the next level. And for a lot of you, it's going to be outside of this company, okay? For others of you, it could be at this current company, but it's going to be a different position. It's kind of like um, the universe rewarding you um, with a, uh, in a, in a different title and more pay, okay? How can you protect yourself, Sagittarius? Eight of, eight of Pentacles. Be the support system that people need, like he's supporting him, so to speak, okay? Acknowledge your milestones, like this, they're celebrating their anniversary in this Eight of Pentacles card, right? Um, but still focus on your work, the job that you came there to do. And I feel like spirit um, will let you know when it's time to go. You'll know it intuitively, Six of Swords. It's like, I gave it my all, that's why the heart's on the back, but you're on to bigger and better things, okay? The horizon, see all that yellow, the sun, Leo energy, you may have Leo in your chart, but just moving forward, okay? Leaving something that was like a training ground, you had to learn a lot of lessons at this particular job, but now it's time to move forward to a new beginning, okay? Um, this is very beautiful, I love it. I love it. All right. And what's going to be the outcome for Sagittarius? Abundance, the Empress. Come on now. Come on now. Nurturing. You are a mother. I don't care if you're a male or a female, that maternal instinct of taking care of other people. I don't care how old they are. Teenagers, babies, older people. You are a healer, a nurturer. This is um, abundance, prosperity, breaking generational curses. Utilizing your talents and your gifts. 
So be ready for this opportunity, Sagittarius, okay? You're birthing a new project. For a lot of you, you're birthing, literally birthing a new project, okay? So Don't be so lost. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own head.